this is the next question what is uh, aperture effect in pm system how can it be minimized so aperture effect in pm is distortion caused by the use of pm to transmit an analog signal and it is minimized by anti aliasing filter can be used to remove the high frequency component of signal before sampling and next question is what is multiplexing and why it is required in communication explain the working of tdm with a neat diagram so tdm is time division multiplexing it is a process of uh, transmitting and receiving independent signals over a common channel by means of a synchronized switch and uh, this is the advantage of uh, tdm more than one signal can be sent easily with a single medium and effective use of bandwidth of medium it can be increase amount of transmitter information and uh, as you can see here n number of message signals are there and it is given to the low pass filter to remove the high frequency from the message signal this low pass filter is also called as pre aliasing filter and this is transmitted to commutator and commutator have certain functions that is uh, it take samples of uh, each n uh, input at the rate of uh, fs is greater than or equal to 2 omega and it has se sequentially multiplex this n sample with the sampling interval of s is equal to 1 by fs and after commutator it will uh, pass the signal to pulse amplitude modulator and it will pass to uh, one common channel from that uh, pulse amplitude demodulator will receive the signal and this whole process is called a synchronization and here decommutator will uh, reverse the process of a commutator and it, it will divide and uh, provide to the uh, low pass filter this low pass filter is called as a reconstruction filters and from that we will get the message signal and this is the explanation for that this much is uh, not enough this much is uh, till here and uh, after that uh, after that it will uh, give to low pass filter and from that we will get the message signal if you write this much it is enough next question is 9a from uh, model 5 uh, define isi outline baseband binary data transmission system with the neat diagram and equations so this is the explanation for uh, definition for uh, isi and Baseband binary data transmission system mainly consists of uh, four components that is data source uh, it will uh, generate the binary data stream and pulse shopper this will convert binary data into pulse of, uh, for transmission and a channel this is a medium where all channels all uh, signals are traveled and introducing noise and uh, distortion next is a receiver filter this filter will receive the signal and reduce the noise and isi and this is the equation for a, a transmitted signal next question is uh, develop a code for generation of i diagram and this is the code for i diagram Next question is 10a. Explain the following concept briefly. Uh, that is Nyquist criterion for distortionless transmission. And this is the explanation for that. You can refer by pausing the video.
and the next sub question is base band MRA PM transmission and next question is develop a code to generate NRZ and RZ pulse and this is the code for NRZ and RZ pulse next define signal to noise ratio and difference between external and difference type of external and internal noise and uh, this is the definition for signal to noise ratio it is basically defined as um, ratio of a power of signal to power of background noise so here SNR is uh, power of a signal divided by power of a noise in dp and this is SNR is equal to uh, 10 log to the base 10 and power of signal by power of noise this is the formula for that and in the noise mainly two types are there that is external and internal noise and here is the in external noise many types are there that is atmospheric noise uh, that is caused by nature source such as lightning and uh, electrical disturbance in the atmosphere and next is uh, man-made noise that is generated in uh, human activities uh, like machinery motors vehicle and other electronic gadgets it is solar noise uh, emitted from the sun especially during the solar flames and uh, solar other solar activities Next is cosmic uh, noise that is uh, originated from stars and other celestial bodies. Next is uh, internal noise in that thermal noise uh, caused by random motion of electrons in conductors resulting from thermal agitation. Uh, presence in all uh, electronic device and uh, proportional to temperature if the temperature is high then the thermal noise will be high and next is uh, short noise occurrence due to decrease nature of uh, electric charge power of spectrum is i by hz is equal to 2 q i next flicker noise uh, this is uh, characterized uh, by its frequency spectrum which is inversely proportional to the frequency and burst noise that is consist of sudden step like uh, uh, transmission between two and more levels 